the mighty, almighty God. Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, we have every cause to thank you and to glorify your name. Yes. For these meetings we have been having here, oftentimes, no record of any evil. And we are glad to know about the advancement of the ministry Amen. to reach the bride of Christ let our breath across the whole globe. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father, Amen. for counting us worthy to be part of the sharer of this glorious world. We thank you, O oh Lord our God. Thank you for the ministry in Nigeria. Thank you for Brother Alasa here. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and mercies upon his life, Amen. his coordination strength. Father, we glorify your name, O oh God. Amen. Thank you, O oh Father, for the voice of God in overseas and all the branches here and there. Amen. Your success is in their lives, O oh God. Amen. We glorify your name, God. Amen. We are here again to discuss more about the advancement of this great ministry. Amen. Lord, I pray you help us, Lord. Amen. You have successes with us, also, Lord. You will grant unto us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to take over the total program, O oh God. O oh Lord, at the end of the day, when all shall be said and done, I will shall be traveling back home again, you will see us through, God. Yes. Thank you, eternal King of glory. We bless your name forevermore. We magnify thee. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray for thy name. Amen. 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 Please remember to be seated. Um, well, uh, I know that most of our meetings, uh, we are all here because of the scriptures or scriptures that we believe we have for our day. So if you don't mind, I would like to read the Malachi chapter 4, 5 and 6. So as our tradition, please can start with the five and six, the grace on this wise. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with the cross. The Lord bear the name of his word. Amen. Thank you. Well, brothers, as I said, once again, we'd like to welcome every one of us to, to this program. The voice of God recognizes, I'm sure you have seen the program and seen what we are about to talk. The program itself has all the notes, so, and most of the things you need to know once you see the program, I think they are physically prepared to us. We are not going to be long, but it's a very, very crucial meeting we'd like to have, you know. Usually, um, every business and everything that we do in life, people meet from time to time. Um, the company, they have annual general meetings for whereby the investors, the stakeholders, they meet to discuss the health of their business and to see how their business is doing, how it's faring, and the new things ahead of them. They meet from time to time. It's a normal, the annual, that's what they call annual general meeting. And then even in the political circles, you know that they do meet, uh, they meet every year in a big meeting, they decide, take so many important decisions that have to do with the things that they do. So um, in view of that, we, we also have taken upon ourselves to meet. The last time we had a meeting here was, we had a general meeting like this was 2008 December, when we did the sharing of the last uh, MP3, and the Lighthouse project that was distributed. Since then, we've not had any meetings since 2008. And from what you can see here, from 2008 to now, so many things have taken place. So we only feel that it's needful for we, who are all stakeholders. We are all investors in this message, is that right? Because we are investing our time, we are investing our resources, we are investing our lives. We call this an investment of eternal life. Hallelujah. So for those of us who are investors in this, this great business of the Lord, we first need for us to meet and uh, you know talk talk together once again. So I would like to say welcome. 
I know some of you will be wondering, but Alasa again brought us here for 10 o'clock. We put 10 o'clock in the meeting because we know when we come there, I think we have some little bit of time to about an hour to settle down before we start the meeting. It's been quite uh, some wonderful time for us. I think the Lord has stuff for us in this country here. And uh, I do believe that uh, it's going to be a blessing to you. Like the scripture we just read, so that the Lord has sent you Elijah the prophet. You and I can agree that the fulfillment of that scripture is why we are sitting here together. Amen. If that scripture had not been fulfilled, we probably would not have known ourselves. Amen. And that scripture, the fulfillment of that scripture is what made you to leave your house to come here. Amen. And uh, I would like to say thank you so much for honoring the invitation. God bless you and show and we sincerely love every one of you and respect you and God's servants and ministers, former pastors and ministers, we say may God really bless you for all your efforts you are making for the kingdom of God. You show to believe the blessing. That's why you came here. I mean, if we did not believe, you and I would never meet. So this morning I woke up and I read that scripture myself and I thought about it afresh. You know, one time by the said I invited me to the US and I was on the plane, you know, I was a bit afraid of it. So I brought my Bible to me. I read that scripture. I said, Lord, I'm sitting here now because this scripture has been fulfilled. Yes. 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 This scripture has been fulfilled because this scripture has been fulfilled. I mean, it, it changed my thought, changed my feelings. Yes. Yes. This morning I read the scripture. I said, You and I will never have met if not for the fulfillment of Malachi. Yes. 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 God sent the prophet. Yes. So that word of God is what gathered us together. Yes. So we are brothers. We love one another. We are together, we might have a little misunderstandings here and there, but one thing brought us together, Malachi for God sent us to So like you can see um, what has been going on in the meeting, in the voice of God, what is going on now. You know, uh, we were told that Rabbi made us to understand, like Rabbi Joseph said before, that the, the invention of uh, cassette players and all these things, we are told so that the message can really go out. Amen. And for this, we are really glad to see the history of where we are coming from and where how the Lord has brought us far all this while. I mean, you, we have had a time where we had the messages given to us here in this country like you really to read. I'm sure many of us don't even know. I didn't have a chance to handle one myself. But I'll be showing you in this meeting, I'm going to be showing you a few slides some pictures or some things that we, I mean, so that we can relate to, I mean, you can relate to the thing, but to make it a bit more, you know, all of us can agree with one another in the, in the meeting. So I will be showing you some pictures, some slides that you will see some of the things we are talking about to make the talk, you know, we talk less when we show pictures. Pictures speak more than many words can speak after. So we will take the time to put these things together. I know um, we, yesterday we had a very busy day. Um, because when in the course of our discussion, we have to see, I mean, we had to print out 1,900 or something letters for all the young people in Nigeria, address 1,900 or something envelopes. I had some people walk in the office with me until almost 10 o'clock. I was here. I mean, they woke up this morning and they are still addressing the letters, which you will pick up with you to the young people in your place. So much is going on for us, and I think it's always good to say the Lord has been very good. Yes. And uh, for this, we will be very, very grateful. Hallelujah. So as uh, bro the brothers tried to put, up the, put on the, um, the slide for us, I will be showing you um, a couple of our journey, a, a, a history of our journey from read to read to where we are today on the, on the micro SD. Uh, for those of us who follow the Voice of God website, you see that by December, to, middle of December, I think it was, Brad Joseph brought some surprises of four new products. All this we also try to show you, so that those of us who did not have the benefit of seeing the website can uh, see these things, um, to see what God is doing. You know, the, the work of God is not static, it's dynamic, it's moving. So, um, yes, we, we come, we have a history of using the read to read tape to get the message out. Then we move and progress from there to the cassette uh, player. From there, we move to the um, CD 
from the CD, you move to the MP3, to the DVD, then MP3, and now the latest technology worldwide, that is the very, very latest, this micro SD, that they just released by December, which I did send a text message out, that will make us get the message in a way that you and I can reach our fingertips, even our little children can get the message at that level. You want to enhance it. Imagine you have to pack 1,205 salmons on your, on your phone to carry around to this thing. You know what that is? Before, when we have to carry a whole carton of salmons or uh, tapes all over the place, you know, it's no more like that. Things are changing, the phones are becoming more entertaining, and the several gadgets have been devised, and as they come up, then uh, the technology for voice of recordings is moving. But you said it's walking around the yeah. clock to make sure it, it, take, it takes advantage of you. So that is the read to read tape. This is how the, tape, the messages were come in this kind of order. Those of us who had the benefit of having them in the, in the earlier times, we we're getting the messages in the imagine how we can use this, how, we, how many of us can lay a hold of this to play. We had this for a while, and when they now move on to audio cassettes, that's the way to do that's the machine they really need to play it. So from there, the technology advanced to audio cassettes, which many of us know when we had our libraries, we have the messages in the audio cassette. We still have several of them in our libraries, right? Yes. In which all of us were using cassette players to play. Then technology suddenly moved to CD. This one you, will, you can carry more information here, data, music, files on this. And Brajosen moved on and compressed, transfer all the information in the audio cassette. Transfer every one of them into this. They took a lot of time to play them and record them afresh to this thing. So that we could have the message here. And we have this for a while. Then uh, we now move on to the MP3. You can see that an MP3 CD is a data CD which contains music stored in one or more, usually many MP3 files. Thus, you need devices enabled to read MP3 CDs. And that is why some old stereo with audio CD reader can read MP3s. In 2008, we gave, you, we gave all the churches in Nigeria at the time um, a set of all Brabant's messages, that time 1,179 in MP3 CDs, right? So to, if there are churches who did it, uh, probably they did not come to the meeting or they did not, uh, probably we didn't have their record, which will make us to know we certainly do everything we can to make sure we obey you on the table. But if we want, but just said, wanted everybody to have access to the message. Unlike before when we used to travel 300, 400 kilometers to go to the library to borrow a cassette. But now you now have all the messages resident in your church so that the believers in your church can borrow, you can play them and let people hear the voice of God in these last days, the prophet who brought the absolute word to us. So we did, like you said, brought them and we distributed them right here, 19, uh, 2008, to all the churches in Nigeria here. That's what we call the Lighthouse Project that we distributed. So we had this one given to every church. Is that right? Yes. Then we uh, move on to move on then to something else and then uh, we had uh, the DVD which some of the some of the CDs, the MP3 CDs were compressed to the DVDs because you have what we call the table, the table fat, the table, all the MP3s that have so many cartons. They now compress them further to make them have about just 17 DVD CD in a one CD pack called the DVD. That one, you have you just take a small pack, which is a kind of whole cut of the MP3. That one became another invention of uh, the technology. Then that had gone on for a while, and then uh, now um, they moved on to um, the latest technology, is the uh, micro SD. The micro SD is the latest technology that hit the market. Now, this is the one I sent a text message out. Now, the DVD is basically the same CD, but the files are a little bit different. Now, this is the latest technology now. You see this one that they just released in December. 
that we are selling for 6,000 naira here, 29 dollars for the boss of the office. Um, yesterday, I had to buy uh, a, 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 something like this for a camera, video camera in the office. For a 32 gigabyte, I paid 8,500 naira, empty blank, nothing inside. So imagine that now we have 1,205 salmons of Brabra in this small thing here. 1,205 salmons here for the price of 6,000 naira only. A blank, an empty one. An empty one that I bought yesterday was 8,500 naira. Now, this is. This is it here. It's more cheap. <laughs> for modern phones, like uh, those of us who have modern phones that can take cheap, like Galaxy or some of these modern, you can remove this more cheap inside. And just slot inside your phone, ready to go. 1,205 samples of those here belong to us. <laughs> Your phone, your children can carry it to school right. everywhere. So this morning, or they want to have four or five samples, and that not the new. He brought this with it. This is a USB. Also go with it for the same price. So see, these two things is six dollars naira, nine dollars. This USB here, you remove that small chip and insert the that the back here and put on your laptop. All the files you need to your laptop. This particular one had gave us a little bit of problem because uh, custom decided to sit on it. Sorry. Sorry. Custom decided to sit on it and said we must pay 90,000 naira to get it out. <laughs> so all efforts to say they were you know, for missionary, they said no, 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 no. Next, I had to get a brother who's a clearing agent, but at least who cares are concerned, they weren't there. Say no, it's 90,000 naira. So we pay 90,000 naira to bring them out. See that the text I sent due to custom duties, I wasn't just making a story. Then, in addition to that, they now brought out a new website. Those of us who are very familiar with the Voice of God website, www.branham.org. That website shows about Voice of God recordings, the offices. But Bradusa now brought out a new website that has to do with. Uh, that will make you to be able to witness the message to the people. Now, in present modern day business, you know, marketing world, you know, people can, they use websites, internet a lot to do uh, business these days, you know. You can just give somebody a small, what we call a small flyer or a small card. You read it and you will go on the website to go and check the full details. Now, this website, uh, www.themessage.org.com, 
www.themessage.com. This website, if you go to Voice of God website, you see the address there. It shows you, you can refer anybody here, question the, what they need to know about the message, question and answer different issues. Why should we baptize the name of Jesus Christ? What me? What must it be? If you are there three questions in one God, several questions, the answer there. He does not still perform miracles, all those things. And they brought tracks, new tracks, which I don't have yet. There are new tracks that go with them. Something like the Igwe business card. Does God still perform miracles? It's nothing. For answer, you just you put www.themessage.com. When you go there, you find the answers. So that shows that in the business world, they are using internet to promote their business. Voice of God recording is now business for the Lord. We are using the same internet to promote the business of the Lord. Amen. So that you servants of God who go out on the field and try to carry this gospel to people, you can avail them with the use of modern technology. When somebody is carrying tire and say, my company, we do this, we do this, you can see that they my own company that I right. And I said, internal life policy for, we do have a website that you can also check. Yeah. So you see that uh, we have evolved a lot. So I will encourage you to um, take advantage of this of this uh, new thing because uh, it will help you for, I know people have been asking, but Allah said, we need trust, we need trust. Can we have trust translated? We need trust, we need trust to witness that go on the field. I'm an evangelist. We, we will have trust because God, this day, everybody, almost everybody has internet. Small phones, small children, internet. <laughs> Old, internet. Young, even women who go to the market, they use internet. Almost everybody has gone on Facebook. So you can promote the message through your own Facebook, through this website. So many things you can do now to reach out to others with the message. So just to let you see that uh, um, the Lord has been doing much things for us. So we can use it. What really happened with the guy of Eden? Question. You get a try, you get a question, they will come here to look at it. Then uh, also, this has all gone on and this was released in December, the same time. Then we know how many of us are familiar with the table? The table software that uh, we can use to search for quotes. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Okay, now. That one that we know, we will only have to put it on a, on your system computer. But when Apple came out with a software iOS, like for your iPad or iPhones, I just say, wow, this is a new technology that is making a ring. We need to move ahead and get the message on there. So they got the brothers together, they started working. God has blessed us of God with very talented brothers. Amen. Committed, dedicated, who have given their lives for this cause of this gospel. Amen. And they walk around it and got the software, the table software that can now go on iPhone and your iPad, all your iOS uh, devices. For how much? Free of charge. Simply go on God's of God website and, uh, and from there you install it to your system. Amen. And you are gone. I have it on my iPad, can search for any code, read any summer book there. You can have your iPhone, for anything that has that. Then, but I just have said, we are also, because Android, Android uh, um, phones are all over the place too. Samsung and different ones, and like Techno and different, many of them have Android uh, software and quite a few others. He, he made an announcement that we are also working to get the message in there so that if you have that, we are coming there too. I <laughs> just be patient. So in December, he made an announcement that watch out, surprises are coming every day. Yeah. So the table was now released on Android for Android devices. Some of us who use Galaxy, handsets, and techno and different things. Just go on what's on your website. From there you download it. You can search for all the messages. As you are going, you are in the vehicle, travel all you go everywhere. You just have your phone, you can search for any quote, you can read any summer book there. Yes. Free of charge. Yes. Is that clear? Yes. You, your Bible, you can read there, several things. And then, if you now have this small micro SD inserted there, you can listen and read. Yes. So we are so blessed, aren't we? Yes. So, that 
that means that some of us who are not yet aware of this can live here today and tell our friends and our families that those gadgets you are having there, we can put them to more effective use by putting the message on it. I'm telling you, people put movies their phone, which is fine. Why can't we put the message there? Amen. You can put the message, is that not correct? Amen. So now you can have the table, all of the where you used to be able to do that only with your laptop. You can now search for any quote on your phone. The same effect, 1,205 samples. Mm. You can search for it, like surface it, just click on it. It will show you wherever I'm writing that word. Hallelujah. And you read, you can actually print. Amen. Just on your phone. Hallelujah. When you say, you say, but Andrew, can I get uh, uh, the table software? Please, I beg you, but Andrew. Now, you don't need to beg but Andrew anymore. <laughs> just go on most of our website and download it there. Yeah. Put on your device. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Then, um, so we've had all these things to help us to get the message out so that we can enjoy the message. Then, Brother Joseph had another body. You know, we adults, we were once young, but now we are getting older. Some of us are having white hair like mine. And as I have in my own, I was much smaller. But as I go, as I have more years, it's spreads more. So, you know, and we are having children. And in fact, the challenges the children today are facing is more than the one we face. The devil is more advanced. Don't, don't let's not take it for granted. The, with the advancement of the technology, more evils follow it. There are so many things that they are being used to promote that is not that are not righteous. So by this way, our young people are going through a lot of challenges. That he had a lot of burden and he wants to see how he can be of help to them. So he now launched the Young Foundations. This Young Foundations is, a, is like a ministry of the voice of God recording to encourage the young people in their work with the Lord. In 2011, we, we announced it in Nigeria and several people, young people, signed on. Now, before that time, we never knew about this. They now told me, I said, what? Nigeria? Just trust us. When we, when we come on board, we'll see what we do. A few more, they told me you have surpassed everywhere in the world. Amen. And nowhere no, no else in the world has the number of young people you have registered now. Amen. Isn't that a blessing? Amen. So we had that about 2012, but I just said, said he's going to do, he said he's going to have a, a youth banquet for our young people in Nigeria. So, and the registration, the registration is pretty simple. You see, you see where they say sign up. If you click on that sign up there, that place the road sign up there. If you click on it there, okay, it will open a place for you. It will open a place for you where you fill all the information. The young person will fill the information. The registration is from you said it can be a baby that is born today to age 28, but not yet married, single. So they fill all the various information they want to fill there. And once they fill it and click send, it hit Boss of God web uh, server immediately. In Nigeria now, we have over 3,000, I think, young people registered. And we are still encouraging them to register. I know some of us are young people, maybe because you are not aware, I made a very cautious effort to announce this so that we can uh, go around by text messages or by email. Now, somebody will say, a young foundation organization, but Abraham told us not to, not to set up organization with this message. What are you brothers up to? We are not setting up organization. When you set it up, it dies immediately. Yes. Abraham said, you cannot organize this message. Yes. So this is not an organization. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an aspect of us of God Recording's work, ministry, set up for the work of our young people. Amen. This website, this registration, um, this, uh, this is the page for the registration. All our, you know, our, our youths are more versatile with internet than you and I. Yes, yes, they know what to do with it. All we just need to do is to tell them about it. When they get there, they can know what to do better than you and I can. So we just want to tell them where the website is. Listen to them and take care of it. Then, this same website has so many materials for the youths. That's music from different parts of the world, Christian music, Nigeria, we have music from Nigeria, up to over 30 something music that we sang in this country. Oh yes, my brother, 
I'm telling you, I sent an email, I told our young people, you can upload your, your music on this website. I told them, I sent the mail, you can upload music into it. And when they check it, they will, once it's soaking enough, they put it there. So that the use in the world, you cannot download this music and put it on your on your device to also listen. You see, several music. This is the one the back one we had in, in Lagos. Several of them are there. See, these are music from the still water camps are different. The one I get that is made. This is our music that we sang in Nigeria. So in Sherati Hotel. Different music from around the world, some local music, even what we put outside. Singing to sing to praise the Lord, they put it there. No Ibo wants it's fine to praise our Lord. So this website is there. The website has quiz. Quiz that on the message and the Bible. If you go to if you visit that quiz, you can it will score you to know what you get. Okay? And then they put a tape of the month. Like they can put a tape, a sermon like maybe the greatest battle of any sermon that but you said for the young foundation, fair they should put it, they put it there. They want the youth to go and listen to the tape. And then they will take a quiz on the tape. It's a blessing to help them to know the message. Added to that are testimonies from other young people around the world that who are other young people from around the world who are sharing their experiences with, with other youths. This website is very, very rich. It's rich. It's a blessing to us. So to let us know that because our young people, let's not make a mistake. They go on the internet too. They go there every day. Well, well, my brother. So they, while they are doing that, they can also spend time here. And it will help their Christian work with the Lord. Because your foundation, what is this? It's to encourage the youth in their work with the Lord, because the Bible said, if the foundation be destroyed, we can work the natural too. So, and if there are no, no use, there is no future. The youths, everyone know, is the future of any country. The youths is the future of anywhere, the home, because of the home, of a church. Because if, if they are not there, when the old people are gone, that system ends. So we have to do everything to make sure our young people get the message. So by you say about this very important the Lord laid upon his heart to do this. Then, in addition to that, by you say I've also been thinking that, you know, having this young foundation and this thing, I like to build a campground where I can invite the youths to come and spend time with the Lord. You know, away from the thing. So it's been praying. I was praying, was praying, and the Lord laid upon his heart to set up what we call the Still Waters Waters Camp. Now, it's it's not too far from Jersey Town there. I'll be there myself. Before it was set up, I went on a fishing with a brother who used to have a lake there, who was the voice of God, one of the guys I visited. So and the thing, this thing was going to take a lot of money. They want a place where, like we have youth camp, youth convention, youth camps, right? So if uh, he's going to invite them, that is it there. Eh? And in the first one, we brought them there. You don't come with your handsets. Your phones, shut up. Nothing else, no internet facility. That day among me are at home. You are here to meet with the law alone. And he does it by age grades, maybe ages. 16 to 28, or 15 to another age, like that, different age grades. And invite them here and count them to the place. See them worshiping now. You know how many young people have been saved. Some of them, they are not, they were not serving the Lord. They just said, come. Their parents say, my child, I have been, I have been so bothered about my child. You won't like it. Come. When they come, they meet other young people. They live normal life there, they do games. Oh yes, they do games, they do sports activities. They do different things that a normal young child would crave to do. Give the opportunity to, to go through that life. I even went there, there is something like a helicopter, like a plane, old plane that they put there. Because the Americans, they like going in the military also. And they have things like a, these short rifle things to use to practice. They are all there. So to give them a feeling what is outside there, 
after all that, start to hear from the Lord. Yes. Bring them to the sanctuary, put all the things for the prophet. They sing wonderful songs and worship. They hear the prophet and let God speak to them. Many have been saved. Many have gone for water baptism. Many have given the testimony of being, of being baptized. Look at some of the game to, to shoot and dash at the target. They go, they go through all these things. So, he, I mean, he, just to make them go through normal life as a young person, at the same time, use it as a bait to introduce the message to them. So, it was going to cost a lot of money to do this, and he was trusting God. That if God said, do something, we'll make a way for you. The out of the blues, well, oh, let me not say out of the blues, God always has a program. Amen. A brother called Brother Vitaly from the Ukraine. This brother was a parliamentarian in the Ukrainian parliament. He has been elected to the parliament. He was a sport captain, a very successful businessman. He was doing pretty well. But Abitali was doing business and then they came over to Canada, I think on the government delegation, so delegation of business to come and have some discussion. Then he ran into a business, a brother called Brother David Cook. Brother David Cook is a very, very worthy brother too. He's doing pretty well. That's Brother Vitaly there I'm talking about. He's from Ukraine. Was a member of the parliament, successful businessman, politician, and a Catholic. He never knew anything about the message. So he came over to Canada. I met Brother David Cook. And Brother David Cook, fine brother, he's doing pretty well. He has very good resources. We were in Ghana together in 2007. 2007, yeah, to do the light out distribution for Ghana. They here try to sponsor the work. They sponsor the material for Ghana there. So we were together. He had a helicopter that used to move around his farm and it's a distributor for four tractors and a lot of successful businesses. So when they met, he came to Brad David's cook house. They came for business. So he was amazed by the kind of life. This brother lives. He said in, in their place, the tradition is that you entertain somebody with vodka, vodka drink, wine. Yeah. Or he said, but I can't give you wine here. The brother said, nothing like that ever get consumed in this house here. Yeah. So anyway, they became friends that they were going to do a few things together. So he went back home. Flew back to Ukraine. When he went back, Matthew was going to believe by a Catholic. Very well. Then all of a sudden, he got information that he uncovered a plot to assassinate him that they were going to assassinate him. And he had only one son. And if they kill him, what happened to his son? So he started thinking, what would I do to my life? Yes, if I, if I, if I die, what happened to my son? So he now called Brother David Cook. I would like to bring my son to you, to keep for me. <laughs> so that you let me take care of my boy. So he flew his boy down to Canada. This family he just met. The little boy was staying with his family. He would go to church with them. They all of a sudden, after a while, he told, I want to go for water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, Brother David Cook said, You need to tell your father. He called his dad, said, Dad, he told him you want to go for it. He said, No, you were baptized. Yes. Can't be baptism. Yes. Which yes. other baptism? He said, No, 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 that is different. He said, Don't do anything, I'm coming. Yes. They are coming. So, he flew down to Canada. He saw the boy at the top. It's okay, he gave him permission to go for what about it. <laughs> After a while, he said the craving came on the inside of the message. He also believed the message of the boy. <laughs> so, when that took place, he had brought him to the He said, now, he believed that. He now said, what can I do? He was very decided to support it. The message, what can I do to help the young people? The, this thing I changed my son. I want to do something for it. Okay. Let's call Brother Joseph. They both spoke Brother Joseph. He said, I'm ready to sponsor anything. Then Brother Joseph with the Steel Water Car Project. There is a sponsor. We connected. My brother's Steel Water Camp roll on. You see, bulldozers started walking. Hallelujah. See, Steel Water Camp brought, like you said, brought different believers, professional, volunteer, they have some moved their tractors to the site. We are going to do, construct this place for our young people. I went there in 2011. When I went there, I mean, I was amazed what I saw. I'm telling you. Amen. The, the size. You saw brothers walking around the clock, professional, they volunteer their 
they are, they are talents for the work. So, and this brother was sponsoring it. So they be having camp meetings there, and it's been a real blessing. This year, but I just said last year, three youth camps there. This year, he said he's not going to do any camp meeting that. You want to make the place more, you want to erect more structures to, to be able to accommodate more young people. I'm not aware that if any of our young people, I know the young sister in Ghana had once attended it. So it's been a blessing. So this brother came and just sponsored it. When he started this thing, the devil never keeps quiet. Mm -hmm. He was into sugar beast business. He, he was one of the best in the world. All of a sudden, he pride us deep. He could no longer continue the sponsor. So we have just said, well, the, the boss we actually called making it to make a call a wrong on his business. He said, no, he will not buy into that. He called by just said, well, I'm sorry. Things have gone bad. My business is gone. I'm even really struggling to survive now. I just said to him, when you made that decision to do this, I believe you made it from your heart for the Lord. Yes. Leave it there, God will take care. Yes. Yes. So he left it off. My brothers, things were getting so wrong for the brother. The devil was no Satan always fights yes. So I know this is the source to sponsor this thing. Yes. We attack it. Yes. Then our God who is rich in mercy. Yes. Hey, what say? The power yes. of the sugar beet does. Yes. <laughs> serious business and God's program cannot be stopped. Yes. There's no enough devil in creation that can stop all that So that has been going on and it's been going on. It's been a blessing to our young people around the world. Um, if, if, if they have time to look at the side, it will be a blessing. I'm sure someday camp meeting might get to us on yes. this side of the world. Yes, then uh, Rabbi Sam said, fine, let me also do something for quiet time. Looking at most of us, old and young, with the fast pace of technology, many of us don't even get time to read our Bible. They will just read a chapter, a verse. They need that verse and say, Lord, thank you for taking care of me. My soul, I lay down to rest. Good night. Lord. In the morning, wake up, Lord. I thank you. You have kept me all night. God bless you, Lord. Today, I go to work. Leave me. You are gone. People hardly have time. They say, I'm going to be late at work. People come, they are so under pressure, they don't even have time to sweat that. Right? Like said, God didn't make you so. Satan is very, very wise. If we are those can go through that, imagine the youths. They have to combat all the forces they meet at school, on the job, on the street. He said, I'm going to start something called quiet time. That at a certain time, they do it 7 a.m. in just a bit time. Globally around the world, everybody who want to observe this quiet time for one hour. You alone with God. Shorting with God alone. Amen. Like it's all says, you yes. know, nothing else disrupts you. Amen. You can read your Bible, you can listen to your tape, you can hear the sound book, you can pray. You are God alone. And when they go for the camp, you give them one hour. You see this young man there, he's having his quiet time. He alone on the top of the tree. When they do this once, twice, three times, Believe me, the culture will take place in death. That's right. They know that when they wake up, I need to read my Bible. I need to pray. I need to spend time. He said, if you spend five minutes with the Lord, you, you will get some five minutes good blessing. Amen. If you spend ten, you manage the, 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 the no message will be different. Then take it up to one hour. He said, like, when you throw a stone into water, you know the need to it first. Yeah. But if the stone is bigger, you know what it will do. Yes. So, it's been gone like that. And... Uh, this quiet time because many people around the world, they around that time they shut down everything. Some might do it at different hours, but the idea is that for each one, old and young, to have their own time with the Lord, quiet time. But more also importantly for our youths also, so that they know that they need to pray, they need to study God's word, read the Bible, read the summer book, because they listen to music, right? They watch movies. You might say your children don't. I'm not sure they do. But children watch so many things also. So they can also spend a little time, one hour with the Lord. So like you said, Sire this because he's thinking so much for our youth. How to say when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up his hand like this. Thing. So and this has been going on. And he's, he's also thinking seriously of a quiet time for our young people in Nigeria very shortly. Amen. So this has been going on. Then, 
In addition to that, he also said, we are God's children. We are children of the king. So our youths, he would like to introduce to them a banquet, youth banquet, whereby they can have the opportunity to meet with other young people, eat together, fellowship together, have really fellowship, then play the brass day for them to listen. Then he's been sponsoring this around the world, and the only condition is just register with the Young Foundation. You are within the age brackets that is going to be called. And then, when that happened, you'll be invited. So in 2012, 2011, graduate said asked me to come over to the US. I went over there. Told me I want to do a youth banquet in Nigeria. I said, Nigeria? He said, Nigeria, but I I can see that you have your young people have a lot of activities and you have surpassed all the whole world with your administration. So let's give those young people a chance to fellowship with the Lord. So we should look for a place. So we went to get Sharati Hotel. He likes to go for the best place. He said because God loves the best for his children. Amen. So I saw also God wants to give him the best. best. So we went to get Sharati Hotel. That is it. We sent four people. Those are the young people from different churches who registered. We invited them and we went through the registration process and all that. We all sang different songs. I mean, I was so amazed. I mean, we had 30, about 35 songs load, uploaded on this website for that gathering. And they all sang different tables with different singers. I said, if we were to record albums, we can produce a lot of songs for this gathering. We sent four different brothers, we can sit them there, and you know, we really had a good time. And then they played the tape, Paul, the prisoner of Christ. They gave them t shirts, each one that each one of the young people that visited. Now, he made that for the Lagos area because in Lagos alone, I can tell you that in Lagos alone, we have over 140 churches in Lagos alone. It's Lagos. And the young people that register in Lagos alone, it's a large number. So he restricted that. We made it for the Lagos area because it was quite a large number. So it wasn't an intention to say, excuse me, like what some people said that we had to cancel our church out. We didn't want our church people, young people to come, even though we are not far from Lagos. There's nothing like that. It was mainly for the Lagos youth because we just have plans to spread it around. So we came for the meeting. Then we gathered there and the brothers came, Brother Jeremy Evans, Brother Joseph's son in law, my Brother Joseph's daughter, then Brother Jonathan Phillips, who is in charge of West Africa and the Council of God Office, then Brother um, John Wa was also there. Those are the young people, the tables there. Brother John Wa was there, and then Brother William McMaster, who came to do the singing, to teach us some of the young foundation songs, choruses, and you know, we had a very good time. And when we finished, we left. I remember some young, young brothers came to meet me in the office from a particular church in Lagos. They said, Brother Andrew, can we speak to you, sir? I said, my brothers, why am I feel free? They sat down. He said, can we ask you a question, sir? I said, yes, go ahead. He said, you know, in, when we are in the event, we, this garden we just, we met students from our university who are believers also. We never knew they were in school. Yeah. He said, I mean, he said, we are so happy to be there. He said, you were really blessed that when we think you are, you are alone, you now find somebody who is like you. It encourages you on your journey. Yeah. He said, can we have more of this kind of forum where our young where we can meet with other believers? Because believers, when you are going through trials, you see somebody is standing. It encourages you to stand also. They were so excited. They said, you know, deeper life, all these organizations, they have this church, they have students in different union with this thing. Can we throw something like that? They were so saying for so many things. They were really excited. Well, we had very fine fellowship and all that, so we left. But it'll be going on, but this year, like you said, at the beginning of this year, say, Brother Andrew, I want to do another new banquet in Nigeria. I just want to do a few. We don't the few in the world. But I want to do one more in Nigeria. I'm all the few I'm doing in the world. Nigeria, one more. So, where is the venue? We look around. We look around. We said, Brother Andrew, I would like to use the Low Meridian Hotel in Uyo. He said, he said, I like it. Amen. So, Low Meridian Hotel in Uyo. He said, we should uh, check it up, see what we can get out of them. 
parking you can get. So that is the hotel there. The Merede is a star wood, five star wood hotel. It's quite a beautiful place. So he said, God's children deserve the best. Amen. You know, Amen. some of us, my neighbor, I remember what I had in the meeting shot the hotel. The brother said, you brought or just gave us a piece of cake. I was going home, I can't tell the road. <laughs> Why you bring us to a place like that? Some of us, I never had a place to come to a place like that. But when you see somebody cry his briefcase, say, I want to shout it for business meeting, you, you think it's some, yeah. some more okay for this guy. Yeah. So, somebody like me, you know, because we are Christians, it doesn't mean like we are, we are the whole class of the Jews. We yeah. should be the most important people on the face of this earth. Yeah. Yeah. So, our mindset has been so, has so, has been so lower that we don't see any good thing among us from ourselves. So, but Joseph, we want to let the young people know that they are important to God. Sure. They are children of the king, and you want to treat them as that. Amen. So, day before yesterday, he sent the same invitation round you know, from ages 16 to 28. All this time, the whole country. I looked at it, I brought it out 1,918. <laughs> Emails were four flashed out. As soon as they came, a young man called me from me, Lori. This boss of God say yes. Brother and brother sir, say yes. I just got the mail now. And we know this thing. I want to register. I'm interested. I said, where are you going? Say for me, Lori. You do know where it's going to be. Say, will you? You go there. Say, brother, believe me, I'm going there. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay. Send me an email. Just follow this into a book because they told them it will be. The registration, we, when we hit the number we are looking for, which I'm probably, I'm not, I won't tell you here, uh, we'll stop. <laughs> so, and then you must have registered with your foundation, which the registration is still open for a while, so that those who are not registered can still have a chance to register and possibly we have a chance to be invited for the banquet. So all the young people around you everywhere will register send the invitation. As I was today, I have received phone calls, emails, and they keep coming, they keep calling. I want to attend that banquet to you. So one of them said, ah, God, I'm waiting for this. I thought it would never happen again. <laughs> now that it has happened, I just want to thank you people for thinking about us. I, that email, I forwarded it to me. I said, look at this young man see me. He said, he's so excited. Mm -hmm. So by Joseph, he lost it. He lost, he lost our people. He's interested in us and our children. Because Amen. he wants to do something for us to encourage us in our work with the Lord, in our faith in the message. Amen. So that one is going on and the Young Foundation now a banquet will be slated for March 29th at No Meridian Hotel, 12 o'clock. So last when we did it 2012, the next Sunday we had a service here. We came here to have a service because we feel we could get it big. This one was bigger than what we need charity. So all the churches in Lagos, many of them came here, young people, adults now came. The brother that came, they all took time to speak and testify, then to play the brass thing that brought you someone else to listen. We were all happy, we enjoyed, we sang, we danced, nobody is saying anything about another person's uh, church. We all have one thing that brought us together. The Lord sent us the prophet Elijah, the great Elijah Black Eyed Paul. So we still plan. If the Lord will, we, we plan to hopefully do the same thing that the Sunday after the Saturday we might have a unity service where all our soldiers can gather and uh, but just say he's sending four brothers also to this new program with the Lord will. So just to encourage you, I do have we send him a, they want to also send a hard copy letter to all the young people that we invited. So and I was supposed to mail them and I look at I got this information day for us, I said to address 1,918 envelopes and post them. It's going to cost me over 100,000 naira for the postage cost alone. To, to address those envelopes is going to be quite some task. To print 1,918 letters is quite some work. So I said, What do I do? So it dawned on me that these brothers, the brothers, God's servants are going to be here today. Many of these young people are from these churches. Yeah, yeah. So if I can get these letters ready, put them down in the basement, let them pick a gift to them, we will be faster. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. So, I call around, I got some youths to come to the office yesterday morning. They walked in nine in the night. 
they left my office after 10, almost 10 o'clock to 10. This morning they woke up and they were busy. They are, we are still writing the thing before I came here. To we'll make sure we get these letters out, we'll put them down, we we'll look. Calabar, we can just pack all the Calabar distribute to the young people in the Calabar church to register, the Lord, you know, different places. So they, they can get the ways faster. So that we walk around the club to do that, print the letters and address the envelopes. We'll be walking around the club to make sure, I mean, we get this in our way. It's the fastest and easiest way we can do this. And not only that, believe me, it's also going to say an only cost for us. So um, thank God for that. Another very important activity that most of God have been doing is uh, the Jubilee Tape Series. Like you know, in the um, course of all recordings, in 1963 to 2013 was 50 years, right? 50 years is Jubilee. So the messages that were preached that day, that fell, the exact day, 2003, they will put it on the website. Different, different ones were listening. They were getting the same get results. People were giving testimony, listening to the thing, I got healed. I, I was just playing the tape. I read one recently. Somebody said I had the pain that I thought was going to take my whatever. And we were just there. He put the tape came for it. We were playing one of the Jubilee series tape. When he came to prayer, like I said, Sister, you are this, you have this problem. And exactly what she had. She just got up. She went to the Lord still speaks, eh? Just like he said, let me do that. So those Jubilee series are still going on now. Yesterday, they put the Patriarch Abraham, I think that was the tape yesterday or today. So you put the tape there, this tape fell on the same day Abraham preached it. So we can take advantage to listen, according to the young people to listen. So it will be a blessing. So, friends, that has been um, what has been going on with us on the international scene. Amen. It's been a real blessing. Now, what about us? Our story, Fiji Nigeria. What I will call it, this is your life. Amen. You know, before God's of God Recordings was incorporated by Brother Joseph, we had the books called done by the spoken words. Spoken words are not good. You are aware of that? Yeah. By 1981, and those books, can you, I will can remember how we were getting those books. How many of us can remember? We can, the books were highly there. Is that right? Yeah. But 1981, if you go on the God's of God website, the story about Brad Joseph. You go on God's of God website about us. You see Brad Joseph there. He said his testimony he had a body for the work. So he now formed Voice of God, the Voice of God recorded in 1981. And then with that, we now set up lending libraries. Libraries where people can borrow the messages around the world. Those were yeah, those were we are set up. Then December 9th, that's what I just said down and there. That is the picture of Brother Joseph. That is his picture there. So, 1984, December, Brother Billy Paul and Brother Joseph came here with Brother uh, Sister Rebecca Brown Smith. They visited visit Nigeria, and the visit was to establish lending libraries in Nigeria, which we are familiar with the story. And then we set up the first, the first set of uh, lending libraries, whereby they brought the tapes. You can now travel to, to go and borrow a tape with Library Matthew Josh Craigman is one of is a library in uh, um, Lori Bragubiadi is in uh Offa Bratua Show is uh, in Bini City. We have different ones around the whole country. So we set up the libraries and then we could go and borrow tapes. I made a lot of trips around there. It was a blessing for sometimes you travel four hundred kilometers to borrow one tape. I want to get the tape but I will borrow by another person. And also maybe you found that the tape I had a problem. What will you do? But well, it was a way to get, get the message available to us. And then by 1986, this time around we were getting the summer books by postage. That is they will post through summer books to individual. You go and pick them the post office. How many how many of us remember that? Yeah. And many people never have please can only uh, watch our houses, please. And many people will never have, did not have access to some of those. 1986, 1986, around November, uh, Brad David Branham they came to a convention of Christians in the US. And he said, um, Brad Maduka had 
believe the message then already. But I was not one that believe the message, was not a believer in the message. His business, he had a very successful, his business was import, import days, you know, import based business. So he said, I heard there's a brother I know in the message called Brother Cosmos. I'd like to meet with him to discuss how we can use his company facility to be signing shipping our group, to ship them by sea, through him to the churches in Nigeria. Um, unfortunately, Brother Cosmos did not make that trip because uh, there was an issue. The brother had a problem that was shot, the leg by policemen, he was. Customers that are doing the wedding, he didn't make that trip. So, but Brother Muiwa Omoto Ibo, who happened to be uh, the pastor of this church, and uh, Brother Customer's pastor, told Brother David that I know Brother Customer, we are in the same church. But if you don't mind, I can pass the message. He said, Sure. So he told him, I'll be sure, I'm sure Brother Customer will be glad to help. So Brother Muiwa came back to Brother Customer. Brother Customer said, Why not? Anything for the message, I'm all for it. And <laughs> why not? So by 1987, this was 1986, November, then about by 1987, they shipped the four summer books in crates, in container, in the name the Maduka Brothers. I remember that was the name on it, the Maduka Brothers. But yeah. Brother Cosmo also had a company registered like that. So they shipped them and he cleared them, brought them to the office, and I, I started working for Costa 1987, April 1st. So there the someone who stayed, here I am. So the customer said, we should, we have another, but we should work and how we can get them around to the people. They send a list of the churches that are available that they know there. We started giving out. That's how we started giving out the summer books to the coin by shipment. They started shipping, we were getting more books, we we're getting more books, we we're getting more books. The customers would clear, pay the cost of duty and everything. I even remember one that was shipped in 1989. The consignment got lost at Atlanta for mm. six months. They couldn't trace it. So they could not trace it. And I remember what I had to go to the port. I met a brother who was a customer officer. He told me I will, we, we must find the route of this. So we look for it, we we'll found it. And he helped us to clear the, the customers pay the duty, what they call do more. Every amount of money there because it has stayed for almost one year. Mm. So by 1989, we were operating from Kadara Street here. Just we go, we go here, that was his office there. By 1989, he moved, he built Mazamaza. Many of us know Mazamaza right yeah. too. I moved over there to remove us of God's office there. And when we got there, he gave us, he gave us of God calling a building close to the gate. Very strategically located. Big, big group, big hall. And then he gave them in his warehouse, he gave them a space in his warehouse. That because they were not shipping more goods, that when the books come, they can now warehouse the books here. We can be using the office to distribute. We are working from there. Then by 1990, by 1990, Brother Joseph told the customers that, well, the work has grown. The burden I have for the work in Nigeria, I want to have Voice of God Recordings office in Nigeria. And I need to employ a brother that will run this office because. I, I'm happy with this arrangement, but I want to have my staff. Now, when I say go here, I know a story that my, I, I will have reason not to go. He will go there because that is his main job. Because like, can you help me get somebody that you can put on that job to do it for me while you are still overseeing it? I said, sure, why not? So he called me and said, well, Andy, this is the new producer's uh, request. I want to move you to go around that place, to go around most of God recording. So really, say yes. So, okay, I obeyed, I moved over there, and the first thing Brazil says, I should travel around the country and check, go visit our libraries and see how many churches were getting some books. Visit the different ones and make a new mailing list where we can make some books more available to the people. I did that, I went to different places. I even went to Yewa and then I to stay different places, Sokoto, Went to different places, then compiled the mailing list. By that announcement, you find that the summer book they were sending, grossly inadequate. That means they were so small compared to the number of churches that we had in Nigeria. They now did another new mailing list. And from there, the work started growing, growing. They will send the summer books and uh, we play them, we we'll have them given out and then, Of course, more expenses was following the work that customers will pay. I remember. But Joseph said, okay, why do we run this as well? It's okay. At the end of the month, you send Brad at the end of the year, you send a statement of what was used to clear 
run the salaries myself and everything, the cost of moving, traveling. But you say, okay, I'm going to send you the money. But come on, say, no. Say, no, I'll pay you, I'll pay you, don't worry. Say, no, okay, let's share 50 50. Say, so, okay. But come on, say, okay. I will pay me, okay, I donate 50% of the money back to you. <laughs> so, and then, the father eventually, I mean, he went all around, and he's got the black customer right off, right, right off everything. So, he's, he's done a lot of work to help the work well. <laughs> you know, like I just told you the story of Vitali just now. When he started to move to help, the devil attacks his business. Um, at last year, last year, yeah, last year, the devil really fought our brother so hard. The warehouse opposite where we are used for the office, early in the morning, the fire just raised it down. Goose words, I don't know how many millions goes goose bear. 4 a.m., I got a phone call that because Christ's warehouse on fire, Mazda, Mazda, Jesus Christ, and then that I pray. They say, call anybody you can. I started calling back I started calling everybody. I got up. I went to, I was going for an embassy, I went there straight to Mazda Mazda. If I show you the pictures of that warehouse, you, you, you probably will share tears. I went there, I stood. The whole building with irons melted. <laughs> Not a pin came out of it. <laughs> and that night, they had just uploaded, uploaded five containers of computer stuff. <laughs> 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 all went into place. No pin came out of it. If I had known, I didn't want to make it so that some of the where you are trying to talk about a big man here. So I avoided, but I could have shown you some of the pictures. Some of the brothers saw the information on the web or the, the newspaper. As I said, they began to go, oh God, this kind of thing that happened to our brother. It is the devil that is fighting our brother for what he's doing and all that. Just tell him we are praying. The God of William Branham will help us. We are praying for him. We will send text messages and forward to him. Then uh, he, many of us say, I heard he had a case of the capital head. Mr. Yeah. Ifai will buy what you know, uh, so many billions of naira the business that know that, that we are praying, bro. Don't worry, God will help you, God will take care. So and when we pray, you brother Joseph sent me a letter, I pray for you because I heard about the tragedy that are before you. Know, the devil fight. Mm -hmm. And I'm aware he has fought quite a few of our brothers, they will not want me to mention their name. Who have really done things for the message. You will not be, you will probably will not want to mention their name. The devil has moved for. You see how he did to our brother Vitali. You know, anytime God moves, when the deliverer Moses was coming, I must say they are deliverers of these people. Yeah. The devil will always move for yeah. So if I don't know Brad Cosman is there at the back, um, I want you to personally come and say express your appreciation to you for those of you for I know you uh, will not he didn't ask me to do the alone I'm sure you might not like yeah. me to do but I just felt since we were praying for him and we all express that much yes. it will be fine for him to say thank you because it's a follow-up which he had a chance to see many of you. So that is the purpose, not to say he's bringing a rich man to come and talk to us. Wow. <laughs> God bless you all. Yeah. It's really a great honor and a real privilege to have all of you here this bless morning. You, brother. Um, it's the love of God in our hearts. Amen. It's not anything we could do, but His grace keeps our hearts. Amen. Um, you know, it was a rough year for me in the last two years or so. But the grace of God, you know, is greater than whatever the grace of God. I know, you know, many of you have called me, you know, many of you have sent messages to God and uh, in various forms to, you know, share you know, difficulties. But, you know, the devil is fighting a loose battle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Many <laughs> are the officials of the righteous, but they not deliver us So, we are confident there's nothing the devil could do. Um, and um, in the higher column, the Abraham told us that, you know, when situations like this happen, God had to use it to switch the, the, the Jewish fragment of your life. So, I just told the devil that he makes mistake. This is just going to make me a better person. <laughs> Really, I'm honored that I am one of you. You know, I'm really privileged because.
us. Try to say, not many know who we are called, not many might who we are called. But God chose the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. So thank you so very much. It's really a great honor. God bless you. Once again, uh, God bless you. So, our story continues about the office. So, since that time, um, we have many, many more lengthy libraries have been opened. So now, we have libraries all over the place in Nigeria. Very many libraries have been opened. And then, by 2006, Brother Joseph asked me to come that they want to do the lighthouse. They just produced the lighthouse project then. That is when they make all the sound books available to the churches, all the tapes, every day, and then the box of sound books. The ship, the first ship was 140 feet container and the 20 feet. We all came here for the distribution, is that right? Yes. We came again in December uh, 2008, rather, for the second consignment, is that right? Yes. So, so much has gone on, and I personally went to the Republic to help to do distribution there. I went to Togo to where to do distribution there, and I also went to Ghana. I remember when we were in Togo, we had just gave many of the churches a motor battery to Somalia where they have no electricity. To use to listen to the message. I went to buy the batteries. And when we went to the shop, I calculated the price of those batteries. They went to thousands of dollars. And I asked his brother, we uh, uh, the rich men in Nigeria like Dango thing. Will you give this kind of a thing to people just to yeah. free like that for this thing? I said, many things, many times we commonize the things of God. Yeah. Yeah. I said, because any company that can afford to dash this out is doing big business. Yeah. I said, people who are family, I mean, many of our brothers who are in the corporate world, I'm not competent to talk about that, but you know when you talk about big business, you know what you mean. You know, so I said, if you want to analyze the work of the company, we know that Voice of God is quite a, a big company. Yes. Right now, they have offices in over four, in about 40 countries. Yes. And they have operation in 70 territories. And then they send some of the whole around the whole world. Yes. A company that can be so vast and so huge, you know, it's not a small company. Yes. So we've done that. So we have the lighthouse material in this country here. Everybody now has the materials, some of the brand. Then it came up to be that the office we were using in Maza Maza became too small for us in Costa Rica. Um, because it gets to a point when we are born, our children, that we were once were. We grow up, we get big enough, the time comes for us to go and have our own houses. And we move out of our parents' houses to go and marry and start our families. Is that correct? Yes. And our children do the same thing. Is that correct? Yes. Then those of us who run companies get to a point that your company became become very big and you want to expand, you want to have branch offices, is that correct? Yes. They do want to build a corporate office that will that will represent what your office looks like. So like boss of God recordings for instance, Brother Joseph has is put up a very beautiful structure in Jeff City, Indiana, which I think if we can Maybe we look at it. Boss of God has a very beautiful structure. For those of us who have the privilege of, of being there or see the website, it's one of the most beautiful offices you can ever enter in this world. It's beautiful, it's majestic, it's clean, it's very, very nice. So we felt in Nigeria too that we needed to, that is, that is most of all of it, that is the staff. You see them line of workers that are there, part of the office. My brother Joseph and brother being poured down. See that the workers, huh? if you enter inside, it's really something, eh? Brother Lipo and Brother Joseph, they are out down, they are below you know, the, this thing, probably with my new to school to me. It's a very, very beautiful office, I tell you. And uh, that's where Brother Lipo and Brother Joseph. Oh, yeah. See the office, see the workers line up in front there. Then, you see another slide of it, and another of it, that is. See them, Rabbi Paul, Rabbi Joseph. And then, when you can see the office from another angle of it, if you enter this office, it's one of the most beautiful offices you can enter, I'm telling you. It's really nice. See, this is the office. William Brown, 
ministries, what's of God and college, and you see the road and everything, it's really beautiful. So in Nigeria, yeah, the, the boss of God was using an old building. He got to a point that God don't work in his own time. The owners of that building decided to put it on sale. And Brother said, said, let's see if we can buy it. As a matter of fact, we are outgrown this facility. But let's see if we buy this place, we can probably build a little bit of new stuff here. But when he came to a time to bid for it, he said, well, the only way I will know if the Lord will want me to I will put a fleece before the Lord. When the Lord responds to that fleece, I will know if he wants us to buy that thing or not. So he went ahead and did that. He came for the bid. And the bid, he started bidding. When they opened the bid, they found that their bid did not meet up. So he said, I knew then. The Lord said, it's time to move. So a group of medical professionals busted them out of the office. Then uh, he was looking for a place to move for the office. We all know the story for where. Now they got this land here. Then here in Nigeria, we are using we are using Maza Maza, one room, the warehouse. The operation we had had outgrown that in Nigeria we were, we were the second largest country in the whole world receiving some of books. Second largest of the whole world. I just told you now that we have the largest registration of young people yes. in the young foundation. Did I just say that to you? Yes. No country. Zimbabwe was. The biggest, the more they told me, but we overshot them. And then we overran the radar. So we've been moving with them. Well, it's time for us to get our own place to rent our office. Now, let me pause here. I just something escaped my mind and I need to get rid to you. But I just said, in his, in his desire to help our young people, to get the message to them. He just shipped a huge consignment of materials to children in the Sunday school grade. Mm. I have about 16,000 of that consignment sitting in the office. Mm. These are painting works of Brother Brown, the Amen. stories that when a child visits, Amen. you can even tell the story of what Brother Brown said about this just to help the children. Amen. And he sent crayons with them, free of charge. Was. Why we are not distributed them? Because right now we don't know how many of our young people in this church fell into that category. That I mean, a certain age that you can call Sunday school. I mean, not everybody. Some say in that category of people who do call Some might say, well, I don't know what age grade they want us to use. But I'm just trying to see how well the things of us. So back to the office. So we now fell, we need to look for another office. So we went searching for a place, and we got a place in the Kenya. We, we talked about it here, right? Yeah. 2006. And we got a place, our brothers paid for it. And I'm, I can tell you, I can show, or let me tell you that we have very faithful brothers in this country. Yeah. They've been very faithful. Yeah. They pay the rent, they be paying the rent of that office. I've been so amazed myself. I'm telling you. Yeah. So, we have, we have brothers and sisters who, who send what I say, Windows Mites to the office every month on a constant and regular basis. And this is what we use to run the office in Nigeria. I tell you, you will not by any means lose your reward. Amen. Our God is not asleep. Amen. I will show you something when we are closed there about the Shunammite woman, what she did for Elisha the prophet. I will show you that slide before we leave the yeah, final today. So anyway, we rented that office and we started the rent with 750,000 naira. So the rent started going up, going up. We move up to 1.1. We move up to by 2012, 2011. We move up to 1.5. Mm -hmm. I, I, I begged. They allowed me to pay 1.4 million. One million four hundred thousand naira for one year rent that we started with several fifty thousand in two thousand and six. So by two thousand and twelve, I think it was two thousand and eleven, thereabout. Why we were still looking for how do we raise this huge sum of money to pay this new rent? All of a sudden, his sister called me. He said, "Can I speak with Brother Dwalasa?" I said, "This is Brother Dwalasa's sister." He said, "He said my husband, the pastor." 
Pastor, I've been trying to reach you. Please, can you reach the pastor? He said, who's, who's, who's your pastor's sister? I will not mention any name. Yeah, told me. Call, I call this precious brother. Say, Brother Lassa, I just want to tell you I have some support for the office. I have been to Jeff City myself. I saw what the world looks there. Say, God help me. I will change my mind. Set concerning this work. I have such an amount to give to you for the work. I paced up and down. I said, I want you to tell me. This money was in dollars. He went to say, I said, how much? He said, he had the money in dollars. He will send it to me in dollars. Will you have the missionary account? He said, yes, brother. I said, you mean this amount of money, bro? He said, yes. I didn't know when I said, truly, the Lord shall provide himself a lamb for The Lord jumped out of my mouth. He said, Amen, brother. I said, you know what? I have been scratching my head how to raise money to pay the rent of this office. Come my brother said, he doesn't believe in begging. He said, at the time, he can no longer finance his ministry. He hope it's time to stay home and pass it. He will not beg. He will never beg. For God will provide himself for the land for his daughter. He sure has been doing it. And he did go, he has provided the land for his daughter. That's why you are not sitting here today. So I go and say, bro, let me tell you, I am looking for this exact amount of money to pay the rent. He said, Hallelujah, brother. I said, God does have some fish bank. Yes. The brother said, God has fish banks. Amen. And when it came time to pay tax for the Lord, imagine how Peter and this and our master were following the Lord. Imagine the Lord by the Lord said, We have left our fishing business that was fetching us some money. We are all over the place following you. Now they ask for tax. Where are we going to get this money? Imagine how they are They are colleagues, they were worth fishing. They have no problem paying tax. They were saying, now we are following this man all over the place, so oh, we are not doing this religious movement. Now they are called for tax. <laughs> Peter, Peter now answered in a way that the Lord did not like. He said, hmm, Peter, the way you answered was not good. Yeah. Nevertheless, let's not offend them. <laughs> Go to the sea, catch the hook. Rabbi said, Peter was always carrying a fish hook in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> to commemorate that it was once in Shabbat. <laughs> so he said, go and cast it in the sea. The first fish that will come up, bring your open the mouth, you will find some piece of money there. <laughs> that piece of money, use it to pay for yourself, for them and for me. Yeah. Give them for me and for you. Yeah. Pay for me the Lord and pay for yourself, Peter. Yeah. The money you will find there. Peter, when I brought the fish out, and he found the money he did. I told the brother, I said, God still has some fish back. Yeah. I said, the man said, the man said he was in a tax case, and he was so tall. That's what he talked about this man. He said, Lord, you have fish banks everywhere. The brother brought the money for a fish bank. The brother said, that day, that fish Peter actually caught, that deposit was made that money. If the money, hey, the, the, I would went to the city to deposit the money. Don't ask me. The prophet said that day that deposit was made in that fish bank. That's what Christ did. We were not there, but the prophet told us. So he said, God, see, has so many fish banks. I told this brother this story. You know, when he was now sending the money, he said above it. I got the money, exchanged it, I want to pay for the rent of the office. We've been on it like that, you know, 2000, uh, that rent went up to 2012, that was 2011, 2012. So we paid to 2012, yes, 13. Then different ones have been sending money. I've had different times, if one individual will see you, I will pay off the rent. Different ones will bring the money, and it's been very amazing. The rent has, has grown shortly from 2007 to 2011 to 1.4 million from 750,000 naira. Full time, that 100% increase, right? Mm -hmm. And by last year, our rent was supposed to expire August 2013. They now send over one big letter. Quit notice by July 2013. We should quit the premises. 
to move out. The owners want to occupy the place. How many of you have been to where the Gods of Law Office is at the Kedah? So, yeah, so you know, God bless you. Thank you. So I said, uh, hmm. what do we do? Where do we go to? Where do we go from here? Even if we are going to get another office, we have to pay two years rent. We have to pay 10% agency fee. 10% agreement, even, even if we tell them we have our lawyers, say no, keep your lawyers to yourself. You pay us our agreement fee. And pay two years. And how will I carry this container? I bought a container because we didn't have no story. I have to buy a, an empty container. A brother helped me to buy it and bring a trailer. Drop, use crate to drop for another compound there. We need a storage. We constructed a small zinc warehouse to where we can store material because Nigeria here, the boats going to Kotonou, the Benin Republic, are shipped here. The boats going to Togo are shipped to this country. So we have a huge consignment. We have need for a good, adequate storage space because it is easier to get those materials here and we we'll transport them. Last year in October, we had the boats for Benin Republic, the boats for Togo, they stayed with us for a while. A brother in the Republic to send his trailer, but he had problems with the vehicle, he could not meet up with target. So we are looking, how do we do? How the brothers, what do we do? Because they cannot afford the cost to carry those goods from Nigeria. I went to ABC. When they, I carry one, when they waited for me, I told them, thank you very much. <laughs> I left, I never released anything. So we went to check the uh, commercial vehicles at the Kappa. Nothing came out of it. So. We went to the, the, this church here, we had a truck. The pastor said, I told him, I said, ah, use our truck, you can make the trip, it's still good enough. We loaded it. Two days, we, we got to Kotunu around the midnight, you no know, different troubles or you know, We offloaded. Spent two days there, we moved to uh, Togo. Offloaded the books there. Came back after about, it took me about a week. Came back to Nigeria. Everybody was happy. Ah, merci, merci, thank you so much. Now we get the books. They were so excited. Because the books come here, we have to move them there. So we needed adequate space. Where do we move to if we move from this place? Which place? Anyway, lo and behold, you can't tell your agent that to, they will not write to listen to you. We start looking for a place to rent. So brother said, brother, what are you, when I tell you, say, what are you talking about? Can we build our office? Build the witch office. Where's the money? Say, you don't talk like that. Bro. You don't have faith or what? Bro, in time, it's called, let's build the office now. I said, eh. Hey. I said, that one, we'll look at that project. But now, I need to pack out. I told many brothers in Lagos. So I felt, in order not to give us a surprise judgment, one morning and throw us out. I took the case for, there are some brothers who are in law firm, Kisto Tony. That is the law firm. Kisto Atoni belongs to a group of brothers who are lawyers. They form very fine law chamber. Kisto Atoni. I'm not advertising for them, but just to let you know, we have brothers who do for We have brothers who do for them, but he's also a lawyer. So I took this case to go and meet them. I said, we have a problem here. I give them the file. I said, so that you let me check. I don't know whether they are taking us to court before they serve us. And come early in the morning. But our neighbors there, one morning the people came, they leave, and throw their things out of the house. I started breaking the place down. I said, I don't want this kangaroo jungle justice. <laughs> so the brothers look at the, the file. They said, okay, that actually they are working. Number one, your rent is fine in August. I said, yes, now they hear a law. You know, the lawyers, they cannot eject us before August. But we have also checked the agreement you signed that they are supposed to give you six months notice. So they actually have paid according to the agreement to have given you six months notice. I said, now wow, this thing is pretty serious. <laughs> so I went looking around, I go some places, I emailed to Brad Joseph, we even got the property we should buy. Brad Joseph said, that was in the right place. Because we were desperate. I could not get a place. It's okay. I went call the agent. I said, my friend. You, you got me this way. We were friends. Why do you not want to walk against me? <laughs> if anybody should walk in my favor, you should be the one. Mm -hmm. You brought me here. Now you are not walking against me. What does this mean? You have to do business. Say, no, the owners, 
The family wants this property back. I know that, blah, 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 blah. It's OK. Can I ask you a question? Is it that they want to increase the rent? Just tell me, you know, we are friends. Do they want to increase this rent? He said, no, it's not like that. I said, no, but how can they suddenly just want us to pack out? Why did you tell us before we pay this rent that is expiring now? He said, they just said they want the place back. I was as far as okay. Let me that that go and car up before him. So supposing we pay this amount of money, can they allow us to stay for a while? So uh, I will ask them. <laughs> so after a while, Brooks comes to me and says, Brooks, as if Mister, I'm not here for example, no, I, I will. I'm still waiting a response from them. Whether he told them or not, I don't know. <laughs> so later, he said, he said they will not. And this is the amount of money they must take. Mm -hmm. say, ah, this is the amount of money they must take. Say, it's okay. Can we pay for one and a half years so that it will expire February 2050? That I, I tell you by that time we will have built our office. Yeah. Is that you, sir? I say, it's okay. Let me go and tell the owners. He came by and said, yes. So we pay 1.8 million now for a year, pay one and a half years. We give them 2 point something million dollar check. How did the money come? This same brother who had called me that time, he asked money to pay. I said, bro, we have challenge you. We, I said, no, don't worry. We'll work about it. We'll do something. He we said, well, I had some property in Lagos, just that it's not, it's just flat. I was asked to go and move in there. Just flat. We, what we need is not that kind of a place here. He sent me what we pay for a year rent of before. Different brothers, different brothers sent some money, some 500,000, some 500,000, like this. Money came in, but Joseph said the balance. That call, I didn't want to ask them. So, they, because they saw the condition was very, very tough, but Joseph had to send the balance to so make up some something million, made out a check for them to pay. So, that is what is keeping us in 2015 February there. Different ones have been asking, but I don't know never again. We are not ready to throw this money anymore to the agents. If 2015 February comes, do you think you can pay another rent? The new rent you will pay anywhere will be over 5 million dollars. So if we start building, don't you think we can build? So we we pray, then all of a sudden, these brothers can ask different brothers, why, why, why we start? Let's move. Nigeria, we, we are the biggest country. Look at small, small countries. Small, small, you will begin to see now. Small, small countries around the world have started building their office. Then the highlight of it was November. You go on the Boss of World website, they put Unity. Unity. I read Malawi just built an office. And they dedicated it. I said, Malawi. Built <laughs> <laughs> Boss of World office. Beautiful structure. We dedicated November, say, oh no, this is our idea of this time has come. The Bible said, to every other than the sun, there's a time and there's a season. So we see the offices of the different countries that are, that do have, who have, in Africa, I'll just show you the ones in Africa. Different offices in Africa. Lo and behold, Nigeria, we live in the rented apartment. We have been threatened up and down, threatened with their people to suicide. So the scripture to my mind, Jesus came to Simon's house. He was in the corner to entertain. Uh, we don't want to treat our message like that. This is Angola. Those who like this one. This is Angola. This is the boss of all of in Angola. You see another one? This is part of Angola still. What's the God of this thing? Part of Angola. This is South Africa. Uh -huh. My brother was telling me that he knew when the South Africa office came to me. This is good for us. Where are from in South Africa? South Africa owes that. This is South Africa. This is Congo. This is the yeah. 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 Democratic Republic yeah. 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 They have that. Congo. They are also being happy to cross the border across Congo, see. Ghana. The one in Ghana, Brother Samuel wrote to me, I am the one who appointed my boss of all distributor <laughs> 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 He built this office. 
in his compound. I don't tell the voice of God. He, he got support no doubt for Brother Joseph at this time because he had big, he had a big school, he had land. So he just said, "Push up this land, let the voice of God have it." Put the structure there, put a guest challenge there. Then when brothers come from far, they can't go, they lodge there. This I was there when they laid the foundation of this place in 2004. Most of all, invited me to have the course. I was here when they laid this foundation school. They invited me. I testified in the, the meeting where this before they did this in 2004. I have the course. I have the course. I have the job. So far, a lot of wars have happened. That's the office. Mozambique. Mozambique. Zimbabwe, this is one of the biggest most of all offices that you can find after this huge, huge, it's huge and big, large spot, big land, look, huge, Zimbabwe, how many people are in Zimbabwe compared to Nigeria? <laughs> huge land, most of all offices. Now, so we said, okay, we've got to move. So what we now did was that uh, we got talking with our brother. We now put up a technical committee of some brothers. I would like to call them to please come and join me up here. Brother Benogo, please. Church, but I don't know, is the architect that we have. 
So, um, these five good brothers, wonderful brothers, we met, and uh, our first meeting was January 19, I think it was. I think January 19. So, we had a meeting in the Voice of God office to decide to rob mines. Now, you asked me, Brother Andrew, have you found land, land yet? Yes. <laughs> Abraham had, when they had led the young men, he was advised and told them which year, I go and come back with the land. He <laughs> God wants to go and come back. But the commandment he had was to go and sacrifice him. But he had so much faith that he would come back with him. So he laid the wood upon him, had fire and knife. So Brother said, his son became very curious. He said, my father, Behold the fire, the where is this land we are going to use? He said, my son, God shall provide himself the land for sacrifice. When they got there, he tied him and tried to slaughter the boy. God called him and held his hand and grew. Lo and behold, the land was there, way out of civilization on top of the mountain. Barbara used this scripture in Sister Hattarach Church when he preached the schoolers and said, the same God, Jehovah Jireh, that did that. Is why that means to his career to his heart. So I said, that is nothing but the truth. So I said, a super anointing fell to the place. Amen. And God told her, as was to me. If you have dollars, if you do not fall your lap. She just had the salvation of her. So we have to wait the land. We don't have yet. But the Lord shall provide the church. So we believe the Lord will give us the land. It's like he said the two disciples, go, go and catch me that uh, court and bring him. When the owner has said that the Lord has no of him, and they will release him, the Lord will give us a place. Yeah. That will be. So we now have this meeting with these brothers. We will now discussing what we do and the really different idea, the type of design. And we said um, this is um, um, the kind of office we will have for this country the kind of things we will do, we know what activities are. Amen. So I moved out to quickly attend to some issue that came on in the office. When I came back to join the meeting, just briefly for a few seconds, Baro Timmy said, Brother, please, can you sit down? We have raised the money for this building. He said, he said please, just sit down, sit down, sit down. Just sit down and listen. So I sat down, they told me, I said, brothers, this is supernatural wisdom from heaven. Mm -hmm. I said, God does work in simple things and yet achieve great things. Mm -hmm. Truly God is in simplicity. Yes. I mean, we were so inspired, we were so energized, I mean, we just felt, I told them, I just feel like I jump and start. Mm -hmm. I feel like we are mm -hmm. So it was so amazing. But me, I will let our chairman of this committee tell you how that money was supposed to be raised before I continue my talk. And at this time, I will hand it over to the chairman of this technical building committee. Now, each of these brothers, each of these brothers, they are very well established in their profession. Yes, sir. Brother Ben, give it to him. He's an expert. Professional, I mean, he's handled several and many projects. But uh, Fali is a professional, seasoned, experienced builder. Okay? But I wrote to me, well vast, seasoned structural engineer can design steel and everything for you. That's in there. But I'm going to, when you see what he put together, you know he's an architect indeed. But I follow him. Electrical person, civil electoral at Covenant University. There are many other brothers who, who are viewed that who are saying, Brother Andrew, when we start construction, one say, I'm going to be a site man. Yes, one brother will say, I know how to manage site, Brother Andrew. When we start, you will see me as going to that site. <laughs> so, I hand you over to Brother Benogo. He let him tell you what he told us how we will raise this money. Then we will continue to talk. God bless you. Thank you, Brother Andrew. God bless you, Brother. Um, when I was told that I would chair the committee that will uh, sit with the 
construction and finishing of this job. Of course, the issue of money was a problem. As we know, no money virus is, uh, is almost all over the whole place. And uh, then a thought came to my mind. And I, I discovered that there's a possibility. And um, from the little data we have to brandy about the number of churches in this country, we have about 900 churches. And I was thinking about it. Of course, I know there are some brethren who will be very much willing to donate money and make sure that the building is, 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 is erected. But I thought this is an opportunity for all of us to participate in, knowing that whatever we put in towards the work of God, that's always a blessing that follows. Yeah. So that whether we are poor, whether we are rich, even to the lowest can be uh, also an investor in this project. Yeah. I therefore suggested that we should not just focus our attention on those brethren that we believe that God has blessed more, that God has blessed all of us yeah. in different categories. Yeah. I, I therefore said, well, if you have about 900 churches in Nigeria, let's even say half of it, let's say 450 mm -hmm. uh, churches, that look, if, if, we, if, if we have, say, say, 10, say 20 people in every church, you have about 9,000 uh, all together, you know, and uh, if, as, if it's okay, if we all go down, say at least the least of us, the very least of us should be able to afford 500 naira in a month, mm -hmm. that is in the year to be 6,000 naira. Yeah. You know, 6,000 you multiply by 9,000, you get about 54 million naira. I said, that is enough to, to put on the building. And all we need to do is to communicate this idea. And this is the end of our You know, everybody should participate. Everybody should participate. That should be our own building. Not their building, but our own. Yeah, we have a place, you know, our children will say, ah, this is, uh, you know, and also we are talking about the choice of, of location. And we said, look, we want a place that is accessible to the people, knowing that people will come from uh, different parts of the country. And it's our desire, I don't have no land yet, but it's our desire that should be along the express road, not too far from Lagos. We trust that God will make a way for us. I think that's a good choice because that is Lagos, as we know, is the heartbeat of Nigeria. And that express road is the access to, 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 to Lagos. Nobody will pass. We are going to put a big sample there. That people, if they don't even have never heard about that message before, they will see that sample. And uh, if, uh, if, if they do not go somehow, no one will speak to them. And uh, they, they, they will come in to find out. And also, we said, look, we must put up something that is good, yeah. <laughs> not a cheap building. Yeah. 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 That's the idea. And uh, I'm saying this, brother, so that we can, I, uh, so that we can buy into that idea, and uh, we go back home and uh, get our our people involved. I trust the Lord will make you for us. Yeah. The Lord which we bless you. Yeah. All right, and God bless you. So you heard from the chairman of this committee. Um, so we were thinking about location. Um, I hope that they won't mind me to say this. He took me on the Bado Expressway. He took me as land. I'm sorry, Brad Ben, I won't give you my say, I can say. Show me land. He told me this land belongs to him. And we can take as much of the cross we need. Wow. But, but, but wow. when we went there, okay. it's so way remote that we cannot use the place too far off. So we came. And I've been looking for land. I've seen land in Central Lagos. I've seen land by Sherati Hotel. Can buy four plots, can buy five plots by Sherati. It's there. I've seen land in different places in Lagos here. They are last in central Lagos. Like I said, the Lord shall provide himself. Yes. No ever what he did was just to obey what God told him. For God had a plan. Yes. So I personally believe that God can even make this land be in this central Lagos. Yes. Yes. I'm telling you. 
Because you, you say where? Well, he can bring the man. Oh, man. He can be here. We might not have to go to the expert. He mm -hmm. can be in the heart of the city of Lagos. I believe the Lord has a place. He has a place, my brother. So um, we put uh, we have put heads together on the structure. So like we are praying, I've been praying around the clock myself. I've fasted over this matter. I'm serious to tell you. I'm sorry to tell you, but that is the truth. Because I, when we believe in, like Rabbi preached a message, what house will you build to me? He said in that message, if this message is of the hour, it has to be the frame of your heart Amen. for you to correctly pack it. Amen. If this man is not the frame of your heart, you cannot pack the message correctly. Yes. And we are con you are concerned in something that you are convinced about. Yes. And because the reason why you came here, you are convinced that this message is the yes. truth. Yes. Or else you won't take the risk of traveling to Lagos. Is that not correct? Yes. I will believe that this message is the truth. I will be ready to do everything. Yes. I'm praying and I'm looking up to God that He can. The land can appear, even it can appear in this Ebute meter. Yes. Plus of land, the list, the list, the list we are looking for is 14 plots. Then the list, the minimum, the minimum, the list, the plots. So I will let them show you now what we have put together for now that is not final yet, what we have put together as what this office is being going to be, the structure, the design we have put together for the office. This is the area that you see this building from the top. That is the building there. This is the No, Kenneth, too fast. <laughs> this is the office. Looking at it from on top. This is the 3D technology. That's the new office. How do you see this, friends? It's beautiful. <laughs> Imagine we put this one in the city of Lagos. Wow. Or when the Lord laid it upon. Our children come to this office. What do you think? You say it was people to a big office to bring the message. Sure. It's not so. But the Rabbi said, the, 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 the Shunammite woman yes, noted that Elisha was a prophet of God. Mm. He said, the Rabbi said that the Shunammite said, even my pastor and this man don't agree. They don't belong. We don't, this man, don't, Elisha did not belong to our denomination. Yeah. Did you read that in the Bible like that? Yeah. The prophet revealed to all that. Elijah, the, the, the Shunammite said, even this man of God did not belong to our denomination. Yeah. And my pastor does not agree with his doctrine. Yeah. But I have watched him and seen this. He's a man of God. Yeah. And she told the husband, anytime a pastor said he will love them in the house, <coughs> give him a small fridge, she will give him, the man of God will be happy. So one day told her, she told the husband, we are, we are a bit well off. Mm. Can we build this man of God a place in our, in our house here? Why? Mm -hmm. the not the husband. That, so that when he comes back weary, he was not even in their church. Mm. So when he comes back weary, he can have a place to fall mm -hmm. and relax. Mm -hmm. is dramatized. And the husband said, yeah, it's a nice idea. It's a nice idea. The husband told the husband. So it's a very good idea. So they went. God kept the contractor and constructed the place. So Baba said she furnished it, mm -hmm. made the bed soft, put a ready table, put flowers. She was coming every day to change the flowers, clean the place, and make it so neat for the man of God. Amen. When the man of God came, he saw he told the house, he said, ah, What happened? Who that place? And he made the house of Jesus in the house. The house said, No, no, I've seen a sign there when they went and said, This property belongs to the man of God that passes this way. Amen. Sir, man, this is wonderful. He went there, lie on the bed, so oh, this is wonderful. He has not removed his shoes for him, and he just felt so wonderful. And God, for that reason, God bless the child. Yeah. Yeah. So God is still God, right? Yeah. So Baba said she gave that place the best to the estate. When we are before we finish, I'll show you the quote. Baba said, Elisha said, she did it just the way as if I did it myself. Mm -hmm. When we get there, we shall talk. The next slide of the building. So you see how the building looks from the top. Here we got a good old building on 3D. That's our architect brother. He produced that for us. This is the gates.
This is the gate of the building. Just be patient, we'll be fine. Don't worry. Technology can it's not permanent. We do have some challenges sometimes. This is, the, this is the gate. That's how the fence will look like. We might not necessarily have the advanced picture there, but wherever you go to, that's the gate. That's how it looks like. So the next slide. Now we are going to enter inside the building. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Yes, don't worry. Anyway, so while we are watching, waiting for the slide to come up, so we are still looking for a place, like I said, God. When Abraham said that thing, God surprised Abraham and placed the land halfway out of civilization. God can create land in this city, in the heart of this city. So the next slide, please. See the building? This is the entrance. This is the building proper now. Huh? Yeah. Then, next one, please. You see part of the building looking at it. Yeah. That small side there, yeah, that building there is like a guest chalet or four rooms. Now, when brothers come to pick their materials, they come to the city and they can't go back. They can lodge. Yeah. Leave the next day. We, that's our plan anyway. Four rooms. Four rooms. Uh, you can house them. That is the one on this side. There is the building. That is the container there. Oh, yeah. Drive this side and offload. Yeah. That is the generator house. That is the security gate. See, container can just drive in and we we'll just offload it to the warehouse and we are gone. Okay? This is still part of the building. That is the, the warehouse stored there. This is the baptismal pool. We tend to put a baptismal pool there. Wow. And when people come in and the lonely of order to receive the mayor, they said, I can't waste I can't forbid me from being baptized. Straight to the We are not starting any church. We still there to any church. But who can forbid this such a one from being baptized in water? That's why we did that. We had that idea to so we have that there. This side there, the changing rooms where they can go and change. Yeah. The room they can change their dressing for baptism after baptism. Okay? That is the back. The real Bible, you have this beautiful structure like the Bible open, the right you know, the same yesterday to there forever. So, this beautiful stone. And you know, you know, know the way architects architect stay with things there. So that's all the law, that's what we have in mind. What we are put together. Now. I'll tell you the configurations inside. We have beautiful reception. If you ever been to the office of Jeff Simi, fine reception. The reception is when they receive visitors. When they come in, okay, we will have one there. We have a video room, we have one in our present place where someone can come watch the available videos of our brand that we have the video, different video materials also go out. Then we have an audio room, a translation room where if you now choose to translate this way to Yoruba, Aousa, our languages, they need a very a nice place. We have that there. Translation of the room. Then we're also going to have their offices, maybe about four offices, like offices for staff. Then we have a kitchen, a kitchen and a, a dining section. Then we have a storage, a warehouse that can take at least three containers in a go. Three containers just zoom in. You can offload them as they go. The warehouse that can take that at once as they come. Then we have uh, a hall. We, we are looking at a hall that can take 150 people, but the hall that can take about 350 people. Because the movement, what God is doing right now, even with our young people alone, we need a hall that can sit about 350 people. This is the whole hall for the sake of the, of the work. And then uh, we will have uh, um, like a peaceful room, like a room whereby you can come in. Uh, young people, Jeff Sidney has it, they come in the evening. To, but you say, say, they hang around in some kind of questionable places. People go to coffee center and they less men to that. Once they want to bring them on an evening to the office, 
This is, we, we, we will have a piano, can play and sing, people play away time and you want to play people, you know, it's there, you just, you don't say to should I you promote games now that we do it there or you just have some more. You know there's a schedule that body gets assigned for the first time. But our children need to grow up. Oh, yes. There's no much man okay? Yes. Okay. Then uh, That's right. we have that, we have uh, a place, you know, different things like that. Those are the areas we have to be say that. Because it's a purposely built place, the place we are building by ourselves for the work. We know what this work is all about. So we know what we need for it. So that's what we are looking at. I will show you Malawi. When I will show you Malawi. When Malawi office was built, that what we are trying to do now, the day they dedicated that office in Malawi, I will show you what they did in Malawi. You will see by yourself when they dedicated the office in Malawi. You see the, the labor they put in, the effort. When they came for the whole part to dedicate it, men, women, three thousands of people were in that place. They were rejoicing. Malawi is a small country. They do not have close to what even Lagos State has as resources. Okay, that might not possibly work right now. Okay? So I thought we could show the slide up there. That's the Malawi office. That's the office in Malawi. That's the building. When the dedicator is in, the people see the voice of all officials, they line up here, see the people, men, women, children, sitting on the ground. They have big compound for the Malawi office. They, this is when they dedicated the office. See the voice of all of officials line up, pray, ministers from the, the minister, the whole country, different wherever they can come from, old, young. Men, women, they came. You can see that uh, they came there for an open house to dedicate to, to dedicate the place that they built for their work, for the message that they believed in. Mm -hmm. So you see them sitting on the floor, Christ our food. This was when they were dedicated the office. Brothers, you want to look, you can see it. You know, yeah. to. This is there sitting on the floor. Women, they came from villages, different places, sitting on the floor. See them? was like a market. The joy that our office has been built, today they are dedicating it. So, see them sitting on a truck. This is Malawi. See them? They were coming for the dedication of their building. Put together by work of unity. That is a beautiful office. So, don't you think we we'll look forward to sometime next year, maybe the Lord we around February, when we gather like this to dedicate our people. So that by the time they are giving us good notice, well, well, before they even tell us our time is up, we tell them, don't worry, we are moving by ourselves. We, we, we bless you, we will invite you to come and view our, our office dedication. I told, I told them in Jeff City, I said, it will be the joy of my heart to tell you February. So that it will be the job of our hearts that by sometime next year, February, when we are invited to come down from Jefferson and we'll dedicate our new office. So, brother, that is it. So, you will see the office, you hear the program. It is not that we, we contribute just 500, that the list, the list, the list. I give out some more books in this country. And I know how we say, Brad, you didn't reach me, my child did not get enough. True, so you need to get them. If we can have in each church at least 500 naira a month per person, at least, and in a month, 500 naira, I think everybody can afford that. We don't think so, even scripture can afford that. And I know, I know I've seen, I've heard of a church already. When one of the brothers, they heard about the thing, they told the, one of the brothers told them, said, no, 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 they gathered their church, say, at least 1,000 naira. Not, not one, at least 1,000 naira, everybody in this church must pay every month. 
If you see how many people have made commitment already to that, to that church, you'll be amazed. Say, at the least, any one of you can bring here is 1,000 naira. You know, Pentecostal different ones donate money. The other day, our brother was telling me when he said a, a, child, a son of one of the big overseas got married, he had almost 20,000 donated as wedding gifts. You don't even count the number of vehicles. So, friends, you've seen the building, you heard about it, all of us have to be committed to this. God doesn't beg, we are not taxing, we are not tasking. But God loves the cheerful giver. Yeah. To whom much is given, much is required. And I do believe much has been given to us. Yeah. You might ask me, why are you talking about it? Must we do this? Don't no worry. When Jesus Christ was grown on that dump, on that, on that uh, mole of an ass, he was screaming, he was saying, if I see where that. He said, if they keep my stones, he said, so John the Baptist told them, he said, don't begin to think of yourself that this. He said, God is able to raise up stones. I believe God will raise stones in our place. Amen. Each one of us can be a fish bank. Have we? And our churches, and our families, and our members, can we be the fish banks? The Bible said, God has fish banks. The list, the list, each one, the list, we contribute this morning. We've already, we met. We met and we said we were going to open. So, um, so we said, what we said was that, like Brad Ben explained, he said, when, they, when this idea came, we said, at least 20 people in each church, at least. So if, if, a, if a 20 people in every church brings 500 naira, 20 people in each church brings 500 naira. Let's say 500 churches. Eh? 20 people in each church brings 500 naira a month. That is 20, 500 naira, that will give you 6,000 naira, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is 20. That is 500. That will give you how many millions? Or 60 million or what? Yeah. Eh? I'm not so mathematical. It's a lot of money anyway. <laughs> so, you know how many millions that will kill? 20 people at least. And we have churches that are going to hundreds. But we say even if 20 people from each church brings 500 naira. 20. And that means in each, for a year, each of these 20 people will have brought 6,000. This month, 500. This month, everybody can have, beginning from this January that just passed through. Yes, this January, because our target is February. Yes. February. 20 people from each church. And we know we have hundreds in churches. Is that not correct? But we say we will say 20. At least 500. So if the Lord lays in your heart, you, you choose to finance as many millions. Of course. So how much is given, much is required. If the Lord has blessed you, you want to give abundantly, it's fine. So I think that is our project. So we would like for you to give you room now to talk about because it's a very crucial agenda we have just entered now. So if you do have anything, we, we would like to hear you say some things and we'll give you room. This is the main purpose why we are here. One of the main reasons. You see now the story of Boss of God Recordings International. You see the story of Boss of God Recordings Nigeria. This money will be contributed. Each church will pay into an account. And for this reason, we have opened two different accounts. I will show them to you later. We have opened an account with First Bank, because First Bank is never in Luka Kona. Yes, yes. We have opened an account with Zenit Bank. They are very well spread for the, for the project only. We have our guarantee trust bank for our materials are for sponsoring the work that we normally do. Those who donate to support the work, who want to buy material, that account is still there for that purpose. But these other two accounts will be solely for the building, the First Bank and the Zenith Bank. So I believe at least we can have 20 people in each church, at least. If that is all the Lord has blessed you with, that can bring 500 naira in a month. Each church will gather the money and pay to this account every month. 
we do this building. Don't you see it's doable? Yeah. 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 Looking at how am I going to bring yeah. hundreds of cars and me alone? It's also just 500 naira. Everybody faithfully paying it. We build the alley. It's so easy. The brother said, 500 naira, what I can use to buy a phone, call, phone car to make calls for how many minutes? School children. I've seen school children. I've heard about school children in the church. The pledge commitment that we are going to, we can afford this family every month for so one is of his gift. So God richly bless you. Thank you very much. So over to you now. Over to you. We are here. We'll take your questions and whatever, your contributions. God bless you. I have a microphone here. We'll pass around. That if we have a minimum of 500 people, bring of 20 people, I'm sorry, per church. And in Nigeria, we, we say we have about 900 churches. I will have churches that are not on the mailing list. Let's, we say, okay, let's even scale it down to 600 or 500. A minimum of 20 people in each of these churches. Bring, contribute 500 naira a month. I'm telling you, we put up the building. And just pray for us. By the grace of God, I'm sure we will do this building. Yes, um, it's a building of unity, like your brother said. The one in the Bible is that, uh, Malawi, they call it unity building. They call it a unity project. Because all the different churches gather together. Like I said, 900 churches. Each one of us will certainly have different ideas, which is a blessing to every one of us. <laughs> but I can assure you there's only one platform that has gathered us together, it's because of God and God is. Yeah. So it's a blessing, so we are brothers. Yeah. So, I mean, so that's why for me, you are my brother, you are my friend, yeah. the best friend I have, yes, sir. my brother. Yeah. So uh, we meet, we share, we go through maybe life, passion, passions or goals, <laughs> But we do have a message that was sent to help us overcome. A minimum of 20 person, people per church, 500 naira, Nigeria, you can get it done. Yeah. Who knows whether we came to this kingdom, believe this message for such a time as this. Right. You are never know. <laughs> so you don't know whether for such a time as this, where you have those believers. If we don't make a step, I'm going to show you my last slide there about the quotes I put in from the Shunammite Puma and uh, Elijah. Mm. That will round up um, our slide presentation for the meeting. Brother mm -hmm. uh, Brown said here yeah, that uh, the Shunammite Puma built Elisha um, a property, like I explained, for this man of God to rest anytime he finishes his preaching. And he even said, Brother said that, like I said, this woman. And this man said, they were not even human. Pastor did not agree with his uh, denominational doctrines or his doctrine. So, but he said, this property belongs, when they finish the building, the woman put right there, put there at the door. He said, this property belongs to the man of God that passes this way. That was what she put on the building, when she finished building it. And Baba said, I can hear him say to his servant, that is Elisha say to his servant, why he has him? Look, look here. These Shunammite people here has given us this little piece of property here that we can drop in. And Elijah looked down there and said, look at the doormat. The doormat was so beautiful, she put welcome. <laughs> Baba said, if you read on Elijah and different, and Baba said, she laid that beauty in such a way that everything there was had a special touch. Say the doorman had welcome. Now he now said, now is it that just fine? Elijah was now asking his servant. Say, you know, Elijah said, I feel he has the, I feel just as welcome to go in here as if I have built it myself. That's right. So he told his servant, this building is such as if I, if I was to build, this is what I would have built. That's right. You saw what right? I just said before, Boss of God Records? Yes. Did you see that one, Boss of God Records? I'll show you the video. Yes. Okay. That's right. 
That is the way you want to feel. That is the way you want to give. Give with a free heart. Give unto the Lord. This quote is taken from Elisha the prophet, 56, 10, 02. And then we are there. And this property that you and I are talking about now belongs to the message of the man of God that passed our way in this age. That's right. The great Elijah prophet of Malachi 4, Ooh. Brother William Myron Brown. Hallelujah. That is, that is the word. Glory. You and I are talking about the loss of our message. Yes, sir. Don't property. It belongs to the message of the man of God. Can you say the man of God, this man of God has passed your way? Oh, yes. He has passed your way by the message. Yes, by the message. And this woman said, she, this man passed our way here. Yes. She determined to do something. This message, friends, has passed your way, has passed my way. And we want to put all this property in honor and for this message, this property. For the message of this man of God that I have passed our way to this age, the great Elijah prophet of Malachi 4, that yes, God sent to this generation. So, brothers, we glory to bless you. Amen. We thank you so much for coming. Um, we appreciate you. Um, we, did, we are going to have some uh, little collection played downstairs for this seed faith to sow a seed as brothers and sisters. An idea that is not spoken. It's an idea, as it is said, that is bad. So it's good to speak. You know, it's a beauty for all of us. When the brother suggested it, he felt it's a good idea. So let's do it. If you have, drop it there as a safety. Amen. If you don't have, it's fine. But what we are saying is that a minimum of 20 people in each church. Bring in 500 naira beginning from January. That's what we just passed now. In yes. January to December is what we are working with. Yes. Amen. 500 naira of, from a minimum of 20 people at church to build this place. Yes, and if you don't have 1,000 people, God bless you. To whom much is given, to much is required. That is the word of God. Certainly, of us, we have so many things to thank God for. Once again, I want to thank you for the mailing list. If you brought yours, you give it to us downstairs. We have other forms. If you didn't, if you didn't have one, you can pick one downstairs to fill and update the records of your church. We'd like to have your email. It's very important. And then uh, the letters for the youths, all the young people that apply for this thing. We have so many envelopes down there. Check. Let's check for those. From let's say Calabar, we can pack there the one group so that we can give to the young people there to help us in the posting the arena. Then those of us who also wanted to get the micro SD I will show today. Yes, sir. It's downstairs there for purchase for six hundred naira. Six thousand naira. If we it's discounted for six thousand naira. If we do exhaust it, don't worry, we'll just make a request with us. They will normally bring it by us. Just by every question of a few days, you have it here. I love you all. I'm uh, our community brothers. We love you. We love respect you. you. We believe your cause for the gospel. And I'm so proud to be associated with you. To know you are my brother. Mm -hmm. And that uh, you can you the message means so much to you that you can make such an investment to come here. You are the over God, the world. Almighty. Amen. Amen. Now, we do have some new refreshment downstairs for you, and some rice and some drinks, some drinks and water, so that when we finish, we can go downstairs to take some refreshment. Just fellowship, talk to the next brother. It be nice too. I mean, we are all great here. We might, we might differ in a doctrine, but we don't differ that God sent us the prophets. Amen. So we shall have one yeah. prophet that came to us. And uh, to round up, we start with prayer. I'm going to have the Imamento Eshop, right? Imamento Eshop. This is in town.